Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. Thanks for joining me on this Sunday. We had a good service this morning. Uh, We talked about fellowship and how important fellowship is for believers. Basically, it comes down to we were made for love. We were made to love God and to be loved by Him. And every relationship that we have, every time we love somebody else, we feed into that love that we have for God. We're loving His people and we're learning to love more so that we're better able to accomplish our purpose in love. And so I thought we'd talk about that tonight in our devotion and and talk about the fact of how great God's love for us is. So let's go to 1 John chapter 4 today on Something Deeper. You could put down in the comments an answer to this question, when have you really felt loved? What makes you feel loved? I could think of a few examples in my life. I'll I'll give you one example. There was one time that I I was away from Jill for a couple weeks while I was down in Peru on a mission trip. And this was before free voice over the internet phone calls. So to make phone calls, it was expensive and and I, I made a couple of them, but we hadn't talked very much that two-week period. And on the way back, I landed in Mexico City, and for once I had cell phone coverage, and I turned on my cell phone. And soon after that, my phone rang, and I saw it was Jill calling. And I thought, well, Jill wouldn't call and spend the, the money for a cell call that we don't know how much it's going to cost unless it was an emergency. So I answered it thinking, this is going to be bad. And Jill said, oh, you answered. And I said, yes, I answered. And she said, I didn't expect you to answer. And I was thinking every minute might be costing us $20. And I said, Jill, of course I answered. What's, what's wrong? And I was kind of short with her. And I instantly felt bad because she said, I was just calling to hear your answering service and to hear your voice because I missed you so much. And it's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was short with you. (laughs) You know, she was just showing me how much she loved me and missed me, um, just unintentionally showing me that. But what's the time that you really felt loved? Do you realize that no one has ever loved you as much as God? 1 John 4, 7 says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is made complete in us. You know, this really shows the folly of that question of of grace. If God loves us in spite of our sin, then what incentive do we have to try to be a better person? Why don't we just sin all we want to and ask for forgiveness? That question is foolish because if you have experienced God's love, you know that it is transformative. It changes you forever. It softens your heart. It makes you more loving to God and you want to please Him, and it makes you more loving to others. If your religion doesn't make you love God more and love others more, then you don't have the true religion. Christians are the most loving people in the world. That's what love is. And so, however you felt loved before, you could multiply that by an almost infinite amount, and that's God's love for you. That He was willing to give His own Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. And because he loves us so much, we also ought to love one another. This is what we are made for. And our souls are restless until they find their rest in him.
Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for your great love for us. May we pass that love on. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you all. I love you all. Have a good night, and I hope your week is a great one. Take care.